Hey everyone, happy November 12th. Um, hope you had a great Saturday and I'm getting ready to, to um, rest for the evening. But I just had a beautiful conversation with one of my friends. Last November and the last couple of years, I've had um, the habit of doing posts every day during the month of November to post everything that I'm grateful for. I haven't been doing that this month. It's been kind of a crazy month for me in good ways. Um, I've been involved and busy with my family. Um, but I was going to start a podcast about two months ago and I still am planning on doing that and I'm going to call it Just Believe and Dream. And I want people to be able to share how they learn to love themselves enough and believe in themselves enough to know that they were worthy and able to live their dreams and to talk about some of the obstacles people have overcome so that they could live their dreams or any fears or um, just I want people to share how they were able to live their dreams or how they want to live their dreams and so that other people can hear and go hey if they can do it then I can do it too and if they can learn to believe them themselves then I can too and so that's kind of the purpose and the theme around that but um, so I was just talking to this friend and I want to say first of all since it's Thanksgiving time and we talk about gratitude, I am grateful for the friends that God has placed in my life. I have so many beautiful friends. I've had a lot of difficult years in my life, very, very traumatic, difficult things that I've had to go through where I had to learn to love myself and believe in myself and I didn't until I had a beautiful experience with God and he told me that I needed to help other women and children who had been through the same type of trauma or difficulties learn to love and believe in themselves by leading them to him and sharing my light and love for God so that people could feel God's love for them, if that makes sense. So that's kind of what my purpose is and I was told to do it through my music and my poetry and I'm feeling more and more inspired to do this podcast and um, so I was talking to this friend tonight and we were talking about how sometimes we can be the creators but we don't always know how to be the managers or um, like I can create a song and an easy a poem so easily I've written nearly 12 books and they just come to me naturally but to market myself I have no experience in marketing or I don't know how to put myself out there and maybe that's part of I'm still trying to learn to believe in myself that I can do it but sometimes we need to collaborate and God has put so many beautiful friends in my path to collaborate with or to learn from and we learn together and we or we help each other but I've been feeling and I've been telling God I'm I'm willing to share my music but I need you to send me someone who knows how to record and produce and market because I, I can't do that I can write the song but I don't know how to record it and produce it and market it and I can do guided imagery on people it's a natural gift and talent I've been told that over and over and I have had people tell me you have the perfect voice for it you're so calm you're so peaceful and I've had people say you need to come up with your own guided imagery sessions and put your music to it and it's like yeah I, I, I already have that as a goal that's what I wanted to do um, but again I need that person to collaborate with to help me record the guided imagery sessions and the music and then to market it I so we all need to work together and I was in a class last week and we talked about how each person is blessed with different gifts and talents not everybody is that great at technology not everybody can be a scientist not everybody can be a songwriter or musician but we all have beautiful gifts in one way or another even if it's we're a good listener or we're a good cook or we can sew or we can crochet my daughter's mother-in-law crocheted the most beautiful gorgeous stunning blessing dress for her baby that she wore last week it was stunning it was gorgeous I could never do that but I can write a song I can write a poem it just comes so easily I can write a poem for you for Christmas to give to your loved one and I won't even charge that much 
but I can do guided imagery and it's a natural gift that I have. So we all have been blessed by God with natural gifts and abilities and of course sometimes we have to develop them. Sometimes we may not naturally have a gift but we have a desire to do something and so we develop it and then we can become good at it. But whatever desire is placed in our heart, that was placed there by God so that we could find who we are, what gifts we have, and how we can share to help build and help other people in their lives. Um, and mine is to share music, to share God's love, to help women and children learn to love and believe in themselves so that they have the courage to live their dreams and know that they deserve to, they're worthy of it. They deserve happiness and joy. They're worthy of it. Sometimes we just don't know how to get there because we don't know how to take them step, those steps or put ourselves out there or uh, we may be in financial scarcity and we don't dare spend the money and we're afraid people will judge us if we spend the money or whatever it is. Um, I can help you in guided imagery to overcome those things or r realize what those things are that are holding you back. So I have those gifts. They're natural and I'm, I, of course I had to develop guided imagery and, but it, it, it comes naturally. Um, of course I have to work at music. I, it is tedious to sit at the, the keyboard and have to write out every single note of songs. It take, it's very time consuming, but I love to do it. It's my passion. So me and this friend were talking tonight and I was, we were talking about how we know what our purpose is, but we don't know how to get ourselves out there and we don't know how to market it or we don't know how to let people know what we do. And so we were talking about, well, maybe we can collaborate. Because she was talking about this class that she taught today because she was collaborating with another woman um, who does, who gives speaking opportunities. And I told her, I would love to speak. I, I love to be a public speaker. In church, I grew up giving talks in my church and I loved it. I was scared to death to talk to a person one-on-one -on -one because I was so shy or in a group. I was so intimidated and awkward and uncomfortable. But if you get me on a stage or you get me in front of a pulpit or a podium, I can pretend that there's no one else out there and it's just me. And then I kind of bloom and it's like I can shut everybody else out and they don't intimidate me because I have this natural gift for speaking and I love to do it. So I've always wanted to be a public speaker and we were talking about how, me and my friend, about how, oh, we have to do this event and we have to do this event and we have to do this class so that we can learn this and this. We've already done our work. We've already done a bazillion and one classes and events. But we've already done the work and we're prepared. We're, we're ready now to go. And so I told her, well, maybe me and you can do our own classes and you can help me do this workshop that I wrote, that I came up with to help women and children believe in themselves. And I says, maybe you can help me do this workshop to help women believe in themselves and love themselves and know that they are of value and worth and that they can accomplish great things. She's like, you know, I'd really be interested in that. So, um, so I asked her if she wanted to be a guest on my podcast and share what she knows because she has so much knowledge and wisdom, so much wisdom and so much love and compassion and, um, and she's done her work. She's taken all the courses. She's, she, she has her knowledge base and now it's time for us to just jump in and do it. So I'm grateful that I have friends like that that I can collaborate with and because we both were talking about how we pray every day to God like, okay, we're here, we're willing, we want to do it, we want to help people. So you're just going to have to put the people in our lives if you, because we've tried and tried to advertise. And so it was kind of funny that we're both on the same page and we were saying, God's going to have to place us somewhere or put someone in our life. And it, it dawned on me, well, he put us together, so why not work together? So anyway, so collaboration. Uh, honing in on your gifts, sharing your gifts, knowing that this person has one part of it, one piece of it, this person has another piece of it, and is coming together and making it happen. And I got kind of excited tonight after talking to her. So if any of you want to be a guest on my podcast, just believe in your dreams to share how you've learned to love yourself and, and value yourself as a person so that you would dare have the courage to live your dreams or um, dare have the courage to 
just go for it and to take that leap or do something you desire and know that you deserve it or whatever it is we want to hear how you've accomplished it um, and I can share I'm going to share how I learned to love and believe in myself because of the encounter I had with God um, I it was the first time in my life I felt God's love for me so it's the first time I felt love for myself because I had come from a place where I didn't love myself because of the way I'd been treated and I didn't think I was valuable because of the way I'd been treated but God let me know that I was and that I need to help other women know that they are as well so anyway that's the purpose reach out to me if you'd like to be a part of that reach out to me if you'd like me to write you a cool awesome poem for your loved one for Christmas or a song or if you want to work with me in helping me record my music or um, if you want to collaborate somehow in teaching these workshops of helping women to believe in themselves and love themselves I've written all kinds of songs about it too and I just need somebody to collaborate with me to help me produce the music I've written it already I just need I need somebody to help me get it out there and to share it so if you want to be a part of that please let me know I'd love to talk to you I think God puts people in our lives for a reason and I think it's time to go I've learned these things my whole life I've done the work I've done the homework I've done the workshops I've done the events I don't need to pay to go to another event I don't need a bazillion more events in my life it's time for me now to share and to go and to do the work so anyway take care have a beautiful evening have a beautiful Thanksgiving if I don't talk to you before then and we'll see you soon.